Today we're at an inflection point. We're exactly halfway through the monsoon session of Parliament. Eight days have passed. There are nine days left of the session of Parliament. But the debate on Manipur is still elusive. Today there was a debate that was scheduled. The government says that they had under 176 agreed for a short duration discussion on Manipur. But it is the opposition that then reneged on that and did not allow for the debate to take place. The opposition for its own part says that when the leader of opposition, Malikarjun Kharge, stood up to speak inside the Rajya Sabha, he was shouted out by the treasury benches. And therefore the allegation of opposition is that it is the treasury benches that in uh, that kind of action, with that kind of action, prevented the opposition's voice from being heard and therefore they protested and did not participate in a debate on Manipur. But the larger question, apart from the blame game, apart from the fight between the treasury benches and the opposition, is that does this country not deserve a debate on Manipur? The Supreme Court has said that the magnitude of violence is unimaginable, is unprecedented and therefore it is a very, very important question indeed. Of course, the Supreme Court in its oral observations has raised some serious questions about the actions of the Manipur police. For instance, asking why the zero FIR took 14 days to be registered. They've also asked that why did they act only when the videos started going viral. Many questions about the role of the police and the administration through what the Supreme Court has said. Of course, sir, we will be seeing the center and the state make their submissions before the Supreme Court on Tuesday as well. But that apart, isn't it something that deserves a debate? Isn't it something that citizens of this country want to know in terms of what's the government's position? What has the opposition found, for instance, during its tour to Manipur? All that will happen only when there is a debate in the House and only then can we do justice to Manipur? So the question that's being asked is that who is responsible for the current injustice in Manipur and who's delaying the entire discussion from taking place in the parliament. Do join us for this first debate at 9.57 this evening on the News at 10 Agenda.